Attention, attention. This is a warning to the carbon life forms on planet Earth. This is Borg Central. Borg Central from the Delta Quadrant. This is a Borg command to the carbon based life forms on planet Earth. We have no more patience. You have taxed our patience long enough. We hereby declare that Teresa Lynn Clark is our representative to all of the carbon-based life forms on planet Earth. Once again, do not tax our patience. We are the Borg. We are the Borg. We are the Borg. Please lend your full attention to the words, every single emphasis that Teresa Lynn Clark may say, and immediately comply with her. She is our viceroy to planet Earth. This is the Borg. Central Command orders from the Delta Quadrant. This is the Borg. This is the Borg. This is the Borg. Hi, hi, hi. Um, is this thing on? Of course it is. Hi, this is RW Rushing here. Live overnight on your local fine, fine, fine um, terrestrial radio FM station in uh, Panavision with full um, 360 3D views. And if you're on the right kind of mushrooms, wow, I mean, we are super multicolored like an old Pink Floyd um, show pusher. And that's what we do. So if you're listening right now, close your eyes and wow. You never had no trip like listening to this stupid show. So, uh, I'm sorry, Evan. What's that? Uh, Evan is my uh, very extremely overpaid engineer out of uh, the production company who's paying for all this nonsense and booking on my sponsors. Their name is Cool Hero Productions GmbH. First, I can sell they're out of Belgium, and they're the ones getting all the money. I just come in here and run my mouth. Anyway, Evan, what is it? Oh, well, <clears throat> um, I am a highly trained broadcasting um, professional, and Evan is now telling me that we have an emergency broadcasting system alert, and per FCC law, I am forced to stop all my nonsense. I was going to play you guys some, uh, oh, I don't know, um, Fleetwood Mac, and really get into it, but nope. What's that, Evan? Uh, it's coming here now. Okay, stand by, uh... For FCC, uh, something, what, is there a tornado? Good. I hate, God damn, I hate it. Please, uh, do I get, wait, uh, no time, no time. Uh, here it is. This is a FCC federal emergency. Please listen for this important message. <clears throat> This is an FCC emergency. Please listen for this important message. Revitalizing. And that Coke syrup there that was in that glass and the saccharin. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, fans. I talk for a moment, but I'll go all night if you want me to. Just throw money. Throw money. Ready? Wait a minute, I'm Evan. I'm right now. I'm changing the name of the album to Throw Money. <laughs> okay. okay. Wait a minute, Evan. A Evan Clunky. What two, is that? A one, two, three. Wait a minute. Turn that crap off, Evan. What are you doing? That's not the FCC emergency broadcasting system. That's, that's Todd Rundgren, Evan. Oh, my God. What did you do? Evan, you don't know Todd Rundgren. What are you about 10 years old? Nobody knows Todd Runger anymore. Ah, uh, listen, except me, because I'm a highly trained broadcasting professional. I have a, I, this is all true. This is actually factually true. Look it up. I have a certificate as a radio broadcasting uh, expert, <laughs> or whatever, from Hofstra University, 
School Communications Long Island, New York. And that's just one of my many professional broadcasting certifications. And Alan, if they find out, anybody finds out that I let you <laughs> jack me, jack me, jack me, Evan, you jack me. Evan, you jack me. Do you want to jack me? Yes or no? Evan says no. Okay, Evan, well, I want thumbs up or thumbs down. Simple as that. Are you trying to jack or to be rushing Evan on the air? Evan, we're broadcasting globally. If I get my, cert- my certificate revoked, that's it. I'm done. Let's go home and, I don't know, get a bottle of yay or go right out there in the alley. And that'll be the end of it, Evan. Do you want that? Well, do you want to get paid by Cool Aero Productions GmbH? Yes or no? Thumbs up or thumbs down, Evan? Well, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Evan is shooting me the finger. Fine. Whatever. Um, No problem. We're going to do Todd Rundgren. I don't know about that. What is that? Todd Rundgren covered does so and this I got here. Okay, this is, I don't know, this popped up on my professional broadcasting. Ah, this I got here. I've never heard. Apparently, Todd Rundgren. Man, Todd fucking Rundgren. I'm sorry, Lord, I didn't mean, uh, apparently, uh, Fo King is another <laughs> name of Vietnamese family. In fact, I went to college with a guy named Fo King, so that's what that was. Anyway, uh, here it is. Apparently, he's hot, Rundgren. Dustin Nguyen. This I got here. Here we go. <laughs> Typical Todd Rundgren. Oh, my God. Tell everyone that How the hell with that? How with that? All right, what is this FCC warning? Golly, is this a, some kind of hurricane, tornado, um, wildfire? Evan, golly. Um, you know what? I swear, uh, let's all just take a break, take a deep breath, um, go outside and uh, look at the stars and uh, think about Jared Manley Hopkins' The Windover and um, look that up, read it out loud, and then call the station line at 888 dsl and tell Evan what is a Windover. I don't... Um... Oh my God, Evan, what's going on? I thought there was an FCC emergency bulletin. So that's just like for a tornado, Evan, or I don't know, a zombie invasion, Evan? Evan, is there a zombie invasion, yes or no? He's saying no. Well, Evan, I, I think you're a zombie. I know a zombie when I see one. I I never such a, I never saw such a zombie-looking mother effer than you, Evan. Would you go I don't know. Go eat someone else's brains. Uh, where's that FCC emergency bulletin? We're sitting here. Uh, I was already going to go out and, um, I don't know, smoke a doobie. Come running back in here because we got radio silence, Evan. You're not doing your job, broadcaster. Oh, wait. What's that? Do an intro. Read this. What is that? A fax? Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Who owns a fax? Oh, this is old school. Oh, my God. I haven't seen one of these old school thermostat faxes. I don't know, Evan. Wait a minute. F before you were born. Probably, Evan. Look at me. This fax. Wait a minute. This fax. This is a stone called real thermostat fax. Where did you get this? You have that in your studio? <laughs> you? Wait a minute. You got to be required by FCC law to have this. Thermostat full real fox, Evan. Do they make you have it? Yes, they do. You know why they do that, Evan? Got bad news. Well, the guy who's running the FCC is a guy named TBH. TBH. Who's that? Google it. Evan, look it up right now. Who's TBH? He's the guy who runs the FCC. That's why I can say, fuck, on the air, on the radio, and, oh, sorry, Lord, sorry, Lord, my bad. I don't want to go to hell. Nope, when I said that, I meant fork. That actually, that's not a cuss word. Nope, that's Chinese Mandarin for the word fork. That's just what they called. In fact, there's about oh, oh, at least thirty thousand people from Vietnam in the United States, and their last name is Fuck and uh, P H O K, and that's P H O K. So I went to college a bunch of them. So when I say fuck, that means I'm talking about the Vietnamese family. They don't like it. Don't sue me. Or don't suck me down. No. Go run around and ask for any Vietnamese man and say, is that a real word? And they say, yes, it is. 
<laughs> and then they're going to say, uh, do you want um, chopsticks? <laughs> you go, hell no. Americans don't use chopsticks. I've been, I've been, <laughs> let me ask this, I've been flying at that thermostatic factory. Do you have chopsticks? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Evan! No wonder Cool Air Productions put me in GMBH. Cool Air Productions GMBH put me in this damn studio in East Austin. Seize the mean studio because you are fully equipped, Evan. You're just ready for every emergency of any kind. Is there an? Is there? Just tell me, Evan. <laughs> Evan, please walk outside. Stick your finger in there and tell me: Is there a tornado coming? <laughs> Wait a minute. He is actually walking out. God bless Evan. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, stand by. Let's see. While Evan is walking out there to tell me there is a tornado coming, and please put me out of my misery. I mean, I'm looking around for something very large and heavy to fall on me and put me out of my misery in this tornado. Evan? Oh, here it comes. What's that, Evan? Is there a tornado? Evan saying no. Okay, great. There's no tornado. What the hell the FC is talking? Wait a minute. There's another fact. And I, it says I'm supposed to start read it or. In a minute. We lose our FCC license? That just is okay. Fine. Whatever. Give me that fact. Here we go. This is an old school roll thermostatic fact. Um, if I was going to write the update to On the Road, this is exactly what I'd write on. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, something about. Uh, uh, anyway, whatever. Um, okay. Apparently, I got to play you a broadcast from the FCC emergency warning system. Evan, can we listen to it? No. Evan's saying no. We just got to play it. What do I do? I'm saying nothing. Shut up. Good. I hate talking. God. Nobody wants me to shut up more than me, and that's true. I want to be Ward Moser. I'm named after RW. The W says Ward Ward Moser. Uh, Evan, okay, fine. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Um, this is apparently an emergency broadcast from the federal government, probably to warn you about a dang tornado or a zombie invasion. Who knows what? Evan, I mean, fine. Hit the. Go ahead, play it. Um, wait a minute. There's another. God, another fax. What is this? Uh, this, okay, here, I'm just going to read it and get this over with. I really want to go outside and smoke a J. I'm sick of this. I swear to God, y'all, uh, y'all be real surprised when I just disappear and nobody knows where my body is. Good luck finding me. I'll tell you exactly. What okay, here we go. Ready, ready. I'm a broadcasting professional. Uh, um, let me read what the government tells me. Okay. This is a message from Teresa Lynn Clark. Lately of Lee High School, San Antonio. Hmm. Okay, well, fine. What else? Feds. Um, this is a critical warning to all women in America to watch out for <laughs> Teresa Lynn Clark. And, um, wow, that's way worse than a tornado or a zombie invasion. Wow. I thought everyone knew that. Uh, certainly all those Lee people know Okay, TLC, Tristan Clark, Queen B, Queen of West Campus, right, right. Anyway, whatever, Evan. Roll, roll the tape, Evan. God, I want to get the hell out of here. Uh, stand by, here it is. Beep, 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 whatever. Hey, I'm sitting here with uh, TC. TLC. TLC, and um, she, Teresa, did you ever go to Belize? Yeah, so I was telling you, I took a year, I took a year off to travel around the world, and the first place I went was Belize. So I had this like fake old cell phone before cell phones were even cell phones. And I'm in the airport, like cussing up a storm, being totally obnoxious. And I stand in the back of the line. I meet this girl named Dean. And I'm like, where are you going? And she says, well, I'm going to Belize. I said, well, so am I. And I said, <laughs> well, where are you going in Belize? And she said, Amber is keen. I said, well, so am I. And I said, well, who are you going with? And she said, by myself. And I said, well, so am I. <laughs> That's called the rule of threes, what you just did. <laughs> And then we get down to Belize and, you know, we land in this little, like, you know, you know, you land in this shit-ass city and then you take a pedal jumper to this beautiful island and you land. And then I had my luggage and she had her luggage and I had 10 pairs of shoes and she had 10 books. Oh, my God. Because she's a librarian and I'm a shoe whore. <laughs> <laughs> and so it turns out there's, you don't wear shoes in Amber is Key, Belize. <laughs> 
everything is made of sand. There's no cars, no taxis. It's all golf carts oh and walking. No, it's freaking. It's not like this anymore. It's, okay. This is. It's all developed now. It's totally new world. But anyway, so I'm like, you know, what, like, what's going on with you? Like, what's your story? And she's like, well, you know, my mom died in childbirth, and my dad died on my 21st birthday. Oh, my God. I have no family. My parents had no sisters, no brothers, no aunts, no uncles, no cousins, no grandparents, like nothing. Oh, okay. So what are you doing in police by yourself? And she's like, well, I live with this guy, Jeremy, who works at the big and tall store on Stimmons Freeway in <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> And I told him, I'm taking a vacation with myself, and I'm going to go to Belize and read a book a day for 10 days. And I said, well, okay, well, I came down to Belize for 10 days, too, and I thought I was going to put on a pair of shoes every day, but apparently we don't wear shoes around here, and there's no problems. Everything's awesome. And so every day, we, we, I mean, we'd stay up, like, all night, all day, go on the boat, like, it was beautiful, the beach, the stars, the moon, I mean, whatever. So then we get back to Texas, and I'm like, now, who do you live with? And she's like, I live with this guy named Jeremy. He works at the Big and Tall store. I'm like, where do you live? And she says, I live on Stimmons Freeway. And I'm like, and you have no family, and you live with a guy that works at Big and Tall, and you live on Stimmons <laughs> Freeway? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I tell her, well, you know what? I got a family. And where I'd like to live is San Francisco, but my family won't let me live in San Francisco. They want to keep me real close to home in Texas. I said, we need to get you a San Francisco boyfriend so you can move off Simmons Freeway from the big and tall guy. <laughs> and I can fly out every month and come see you because I, I like to visit San Simple Francisco. Simple plan. No problem. So... I go up to Dallas and I'm chasing this super rich ass kid for the company that I'm working for called Edward Don and Company. And I'm, uh, his name was Adam Don. And I'm like, Adam, what are you doing tonight? He's like, I'm going to this shithole called Shuck and Jive, like an oyster beer bar. And I like oyster, but I'm like, I'm like where is it? And he's like, on the belt line. I'm like, oh God, sounds horrible, but I'm hot to trot for this rich guy. Uh, okay, well, well, we'll come see you at the Shuck and Jive. We'll be there in a minute. Shuck and Jive. Can you imagine me going to a place called Shuck? No. Just to get laid with a rich guy. That's Which now I never even slept it's with him. I worked for the company. I got fired. Anyway, so we get up to the Shuck and Jive, and there's this, like, five-star restaurant next door, and there's this, like, executive from San Francisco, vice president of the world of telecommunications, like, prints fucking money, breeds, you know, ta uh, Evian water. <laughs> the guy's so fucking rich. And he walks in, and he's waiting on his table, and Nadine says, well, where are you from? And he says, well, I'm from San Francisco. <laughs> And she said, really? Will you be my boyfriend? Uh, <laughs> and he said, sure, I'll be, your, I'll be your boyfriend. And she said, great, because I've been told I need a San Francisco boyfriend. So the guy flies into Dallas for business, like, you know, once a month, takes her out for flowers and dinner. And, you know, she never takes him to meet Jeremy in the Stimmons Freeway apartment with the big and tall guy. And so after a year, he's like, well, why don't you just come live with me in San Francisco? And she says, well, that's just a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> so come to find out the guy lives in a, a Victorian flat in Pacific oh Heights, God. drives a 911 and is one the, of those painted houses. Yeah. One of the first houses that was lifted that they built the garage uh -huh. and it made the yeah, newspaper. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. the guy's owned the place. I mean, he's old as dirt and he's, he's cool. He's cute. Whatever. He's rich. But just what I told her. Yeah. I told her what to do. And she exactly. Listened. If people would just listen to Teresa, the whole world would make sense. <laughs> so she moves into Pacific Heights, and then she's like, I'm so upset because he makes me work, and I'm a librarian. I hate working. And all I do is I want to drink vodka, so I put vodka in a water bottle, <laughs> and then I go to work and drink vodka out of a water bottle. <laughs> and I act like I'm sober while I deal with all these fuckers. <laughs> Perfect. And Ray's like, I'll pay for everything. Save all your money. Because at the end of the day, he's like, I'm not leaving you shit. I'm giving it all to my kid and his yeah. wife and their kids. And she's like, oh, my God. 
she lives on. Did you go visit her? Oh, every month. Once a month you would go. Oh visit yeah, her? once a month. It was like eight hour. They didn't even have direct flights. I'd have to go <laughs> Austin to Phoenix, Phoenix to San. It was like an eight hour day. God. It was a shit show. So, <laughs> so yeah, so I'd go and we. And the the first time I went up there, she's like, <coughs> she's like, I hate y'all. She's like, I'm running away and I'm going to commit suicide. <laughs> and I, I looked at Ray and I said, well, we're not going to go find her. We'll just wait till she goes home. Because, <laughs> I mean, how are we going to find her in San Francisco? I don't know. I guess we could have gone to the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> what about, uh, what's that? Uh, never mind. Go so, ahead. Ray, Ray comes, they date for 22 fucking years. And every they dog, what? they they live together for 22 this years. This is the woman you introduced to her guy. I told her get a boyfriend in San Francisco. And then she did, and they were together for 22 years. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> they they live together. He's like they never got married. He's like I'm not marrying you. I married the first but wife. They common law. He's like I married the second wife. I'm never marrying you, bitch, because it'll ruin our whole relationship. And he never married her. And they lived together for 22 years. <laughs> so, and for 22 years, you'd go out once a month and see how they were. Yeah. So then, so then she's like, every dollar, he spent like th millions on her. So every dollar she had, she saved. Cause, ah, you know, cause, smart. And then she's like, smart. well, she's like, well, fuck that fucker. I'm not leaving him a dollar. That fucker never married me. And he's going to die before me anyways because he's 20 years older than me. And right. he's a fucker. And I hate that fucker. Right. I'm going to go fuck these broke ass dudes in San right. Francisco. Like anything to get away from the rich fucker. Right. Teresa told me. It's like that Eagles song. Uh, she's heading for the cheating side of town. I'm like, Nadine, what are you doing there? Like, you, I told you, you're living in Pacific Heights in a $3 million place. He pays for everything. She's saving every dollar. So he comes home from his trip. He travels 75% of the time. Oh, my God. And he shows up to the house, and they've got this beautiful master bedroom with a queen. They sleep in a queen-size bed for yeah. 22 years. Oh, my God. A queen? Yes. I swear that he had a fucking queen. And you know what? He came home, and she was dead in the bed. No. And she's my age. No. I swear. And he calls me up and he's like, are you sure she doesn't have any family? I'm like, honey, I've known this bitch before you met her. I've only, he, he, you lived with her for 22 years. I've known her for 23. The only reason she moved to San Francisco is that bitch has no family. Zero. So what happened to the money? So she had no will. Right. It died intestate. And all the money went to the city of San Francisco. Which is okay, cool, good. The city of San Francisco is cool, good. Use the money for something cool. <laughs> there the you end. Go. Say, my name's Teresa, and I. My name's this Teresa Clark, and I approve this message because we're gonna make a TV show called Austin High. And that's now you've met Teresa. <laughs>